In this question, I'm planning to explain the properties of that module. Uh, if you remember the property here about the division, so division property about the Z module, it was like this division of Z1 over Z2 module is equal to Z1 over Z2 module is equal to Z1 module over Z2 module. Here, there are two complex numbers. One is with only real part, one, and the denominator here is equal to uh, root 3 minus i. There are two methods here. You can multiply the by the conjugate and you can find the z and you can get the module of it. Or you can find the module of each term here, numerator 1, and here denominator 1, and you can get the module of it. The second method easier, so I'm going to use the second method. So z module is equal to module of here 1 over root 3 minus i module it's going to be and it's equal to module of 1 over module of root 3 minus i it's going to be and here module of 1 is going to be 1 it's easy because if you remember module of a plus b i a is going to be equal to square root of a squared plus b squared so coefficient squared here we don't have any imaginary part only we have the real part so it's going to be only square root of one square and that's equal to that's equal to one square root of one square for the denominator the first coefficient is equal to root 3 so root 3 square plus a squared plus b squared the second coefficient here in front of the i is equal to 1 minus 1 actually and minus 1 square inside the square root it should be here we should continue from the division sign okay square root of 1 square is equal to 1 over square root of uh, 3 square is equal to root 3 square is equal to 3 and uh, minus 1 square is equal to 1 so it's equal to root 3 plus 1 and it's equal to 1 over root 3 plus 1 is equal to root 4 which is equal to 1 over 2 this implies that z module equals to 1 over 